All right, you gotta address the Alec Baldwin thing, right? So first thing to know is he's not telling you the truth and he's blaming other people, the person who's dead who can't defend themselves. And secondly, uh, I know how ridiculous I look right now in shorts with this uh, quick draw rig on here. <laughs> but the one thing you already know is I don't look any more ridiculous right now than I normally do anyhow. It's okay, I'm used to it. So, single action revolver, right? I got a couple of them. Uh, for people who know me, and if you didn't know this, this was something I was really into for a good period of time back in the late 90s. I was in the cowboy action shooting. I was into it. I got a cross draw. I got everything to do it. I never competed. Uh, I was working up to compete, but then it turned out to be kind of an expensive hobby, and I had other interests. But I just want to get into this thing here. So the way this thing works is the first thing you always do with any weapon is you want to check to see if it's loaded, right? You go to half cock on this thing. You open this gate, you can look into the cylinder, and you can see whether or not there's a round in each cylinder. From half cock, it can't go off even if you put your booger hook on the trigger. The only way this thing can go off is if you cock it all the way and then pull the trigger, period. Can't go off. That's how it works. Now, it's perfectly safe to dry fire uh, revolvers. That's how it works. It's very simple. There's no other way to deal with it. I was in the film industry for years, and I was on set with firearms, with real firearms. And the gun wranglers on those sets always made sure that the actors checked their firearms all the time. Now, dummy rounds. You can see, I'm back in this cartridge belt. Here's a bunch of rounds in here. On my cross draw, same thing. The thing is, on a dummy round, <laughs> there is clearly a visible hole in the case, right? You see that? So, if you were handed a weapon on set, somebody gave you a firearm that was already loaded, you should be in the habit of, okay, let me double check this. Let's get that round out of there and make sure it's a dummy round and then load it myself. That's how that works. Every actor should do that. I'm around a lot of guys with guns. I still train. I still train with guys who are in the military and all my friends are into firearms. A lot of them out here anyhow. People in the family, the whole thing. I hang out with veteran friends. Even if we're passing handguns around to one another and I just watched you take a magazine out of a uh, semi-automatic and you hand it to me and I know it's not loaded I still check the action to make sure it's not loaded uh, I think I have uh, a live round in here actually yeah so here's your here's a live round there's no hole in the case <laughs> there's gunpowder in this. I am not gonna put this in one of these pistols for the sake of this video because yeah, it could be dangerous. Yeah, I could screw up. Anybody could screw up. That's the deal. <clears throat> now, a couple other things about the single action army. I'm just going to get into it because I think it's kind of fun and interesting about how it works. For one thing, if you put a round in and it sticks, that means the cylinder's dirty, needs to be cleaned. And all these uh, pistols come with this little lever here that you push down, and when you push down, it goes through the cylinder, and that's to eject the spent case after you fire, because sometimes, well, pretty much all the time, if you fired this pistol enough times, let's say you fill this up six times, fire it off, say you did that a few times, there's gonna be a carbon buildup inside the cylinder right at the point where the case meets the round that's propelled. Uh, there's a carbon build up there, forms a little ring in there, and it gets stuck. So, uh, now, having said that, a round could get stuck in the cylinder. Not stuck like it can't get out of there. Somebody's not doing their job. Uh, there should never be a live round on set anyhow. Uh, but, to get back to the dummy round, if you want to do a close-up, I'm going to point the firearm at the camera right now. We all know it's not loaded. 
But if you look at the barrel and then you look at the cylinder on either side, you'll see there's empty chambers here. So if you want it to look loaded for a close-up shot of the firearm, well, then you want to put some rounds in the cylinder. These things have been in there so long, they don't even want to come out. <laughs> I'll just load this up for you and show you what that looks like. These are all, I'm inspecting each one of these each time. These, these are all dummy rounds. Each one of them has a hole in the, in the case. You can't make a mistake. Uh, this is something that Alec Baldwin should have done. It's something that the gun wrangler should have done. This is something that everybody should do. Now it's loaded. If I point this gun, these are dummy rounds, at the camera, you can now see there are rounds inside the cylinder. So for a close-up shot of the gun to make it look deadly and scary, that's what you want to see. So on a film set, that's the only reason to have that loaded with anything that even looks real, but there's no reason to put a real round in the, in the firearm because dummy rounds exist. <laughs> All right. It's just the whole thing, none of it makes sense. Now, this pistol is, uh, it was, I had a lot of work done to this pistol because I did cowboy action shooting. And so I had an action job done on this. What that means is it's got a hair trigger. Now, I don't imagine the single action army revolver that was used on that movie set needed to have or did have an action job on the trigger. But the only way you could cock this and have the hammer fire around if there was a live round in there is if your finger is on the trigger. That's how you fan. You've heard the term fanning maybe in the old cowboy movies. Bam, 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 bam. That's fanning. Something that probably was never used. That's, you know, you'll see that in films. The guy pulls it, draws, cocks the hammer, and, and pulls the trigger. The only time that was ever probably used is, you know, instantaneous. There's a threat in front of me right this second. Boom, I'm a little slow on that right now because it's been a while. <laughs> Uh, again, spam as a fan. That's fine too. More often than not, this firearm was used in a different way in reality. This, I'm just going to talk about something else other than Alec Baldwin here. But really, it would make more sense if there was a threat and there's more than one target for you to cock with your other hand. Have two hands on the weapon, cock with this hand, pull the trigger. Cock, pull, cock, pull, cock, pull. That would make way more sense. Another thing about these things, just point of interest. This is a cartridge fed revolver. Before this, it was cap and ball. So it took a long time to load it. Once you were spent, once you fired all six shots off, you basically had a paperweight. But grab the cylinder, put your finger through here, and now you've got a really nice blunt force instrument. And they were actually designed to be used this way. So whack, you can just whack somebody in the head with it. Anyhow, I also want to point out this, that the single action army revolver, uh, the cowboy gun, is also a great self-defense gun. It's actually a very safe firearm because you have to cock it first. It's not double action. Double action would mean you pull the trigger and it goes off. That cannot happen with a single action revolver. You have to cock the hammer and then let it go off. So A, Baldwin's lion, he clearly had his booger hook on the trigger. And uh, that's how that happened. But there should have never been a live round on set anyhow. And anybody involved with the entire ordeal uh, sh should have been checking this. And if you are an actor and you're on set, uh, always check. And by the way, a, uh, when you see people firing weapons on TV, movies, and you see the flash coming out, more often than not, that's just a blank, and that usually doesn't have a round in it, it's just a crimped end, and it's got a wad of paper and some gunpowder in there just for the effect to make it look like and sound like a real gun going off. But, uh, yeah, I was on a lot of movie sets, never had an accident, and all the actors, whenever I saw them get handed their weapons, they always pulled the magazines, pulled the rounds, checked it out, and made sure it was safe themselves. Something that that guy clearly didn't do. That's it. Be good to one another. Don't believe the BS. 
We're being lied to all the time, and we know we can't believe actors. That's why I don't go out with actresses. <laughs> Ask me how I learned that lesson. Be good to one another. <laughs>